As March Madness begins, a Butler superfan is learning a new way to navigate hoops hysteria. Samantha, Samantha Smith spent years on the sidelines cheering on who she calls her best friend and her husband, who played for Butler during their two runs to the Final Four. But then Andrew Smith got sick. In fact, thousands of you followed the couple's very candid blog. Sam sat down with our own Anne Marie Tiernan tonight to reveal where she now puts her energy and why she chooses to be brave. If somebody walked around and they would see pictures of Andrew everywhere, and that will always be the case. This is our home. Samantha Smith still lives in the Irvington house. She made a home with her husband, Andrew. The first year, um, I just didn't want to make any rash, hard decisions. Um, grief makes you so fuzzy brained, and it, it almost makes you question your sanity sometimes. Sam married her high school sweetheart. Andrew is 6'11", and I am 5'1 and a half. And staying here with their beloved dog, Charlie, and her new bulldog puppy, Moose, keeps Andrew close. Every single wall had to be painted, and still some of them need to be repainted. Um, but yeah, we uh, tackled all of it together. Andrew did all the high parts, and I did all the low parts. No ladders required. But six months after they exchanged vows, Andrew was playing pro overseas, and he got sick, diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. He fought, didn't he? Mm -hmm. Hard, yeah, with everything, um, and gracefully and wonderfully. 2014 was a pretty difficult year for us. For nearly two years, they publicly endured treatment, celebrated remission, and faced recurrence. I will never be more proud of that man than um, watching him walk through that sickness. In the end, Andrew was diagnosed with leukemia, a bone marrow transplant didn't take. Even if I had known everything that we were going to go through, I would have done it all over again in a heartbeat just to have that life and that marriage and that love with him. A loyal butler and expanded international community witnessed the love and loss through the couple's candid blog. And I just want to say thank you for the past two years. The following certainly, I think, just speaks to how many people care about Andrew. These days, Sam still works through her emotions by writing, but she's narrowed the audience to just one. I write him letters every day. Ever since a week after he's passed, I've written him a letter a day. And that's just a way that I try and fill that connection. Her writing made her a bit of a celebrity, and now she increasingly is being asked to speak. My constant prayer is just to be postured in humility, um, that it's never false motivations or never um, my will or my selfish motivations. I certainly just want it to always be about glorifying the Lord. At first, she talked about cancer, then adversity, hardship, grief. Just try and stress just to be brave. Being brave is a choice, she says, that she has to renew often. I think the biggest misconception with going through grief is that it's this um, this almost checklist process where if you make it through a stage of, say, anger or or um, acceptance or so on, that, um, that you're through it. But that certainly hasn't been my experience. Um, you know, you'll get through a phase and you might think that you're through that phase but then you kind of circle back to it a couple months later. It's an ongoing process. I think it was a lifelong process for sure. Even in all of my sadness, um, I will never doubt how lucky I was to be Andrew's wife. And Samantha's loyalty to Butler continues. Her bracket has the Bulldogs winning it all. Now, tomorrow on the Sunrise, the conversation will continue. She talks about why sharing Andrew's story during the tournament may actually save lives. If you would like to learn more, text Andrew to 38470, or we can link you from WTHR.com.